That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Come, come, come. Oh, that's a good girl. Heel, heel. Oh, that's a good girl. Heel, heel. Good, good. Come, come, come. Hey, good girl. That's a good girl. Whoa. Sit. Oh, good. That's a good girl. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the channel. We are here with Phoebe. Whoo. I'm out of breath. <laughs> For those new to the channel, please subscribe and hit the notification. Like the, like the video. We'd really appreciate it. And uh, here with Phoebe, yellow female. She's already reserved, but I'm using her as my model into training and showing everybody all this. She's doing great and so forth. So um, you can see how we just went through a come and heel and sit exercise there and uh, so forth. So how do we get to that point? Uh, many people have been asking me of the treat training. <sighs> Excuse me on that one and uh, treat training and so forth. So what we do is we put, we get her used to eating out of her hands first and then we say heel, heel. Let me back that off a little bit so you can see better. There you go. Heel. Good, good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. And so we walk him in the heel position. She gets used to hearing that command and she's in the heel position. What is the heel position? Well, let me show you. There is my toes. Boop, right there and I want to keep her an imaginary line right here see this just draw an imaginary line the um, uh, the statement would be the nose with my toes okay nose with my toes and so I want to keep her roughly in this vicinity if she goes here that's okay if she goes here it's okay but I like it to be somewhere in here okay nose with my toes all right and so I would hold the treat like this and keep her going heel 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 whoa what would be i'm slowing down as a preventative word a preliminary word rather and then i would say whoa then i would say sit okay and over time she'll learn that when i walk and stop i won't even have to say the word whoa she will just completely come to a stop um and sit okay so that's how that goes that's how you work that into an awfully situation all right so let me recap that hey hey Come. The word hey is just to get her attention. That's a good girl. That's a good girl, Phoebe. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. So, recap. So that I didn't lose you. Heel. The position is here. Nose with my toes. If, if the dog goes here, I want her nose with my toes. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, come. Good girl. That's a good girl. We had a little distraction. Sit. Good. She saw she saw a she saw a butterfly and I about lost her into my into my garden, aka deer pot. Okay. So nose with my toes and we walk this direction and I say heel. Okay. Heel. And I'm when I'm holding her leash, I would gently pull pressure up, pressure on, heel, pressure off. Pressure on, command heel. When I say the, the command simultaneously, the pressure goes on. So I'm pulling up on her leash and I'm walking forward. So let me show you how this works. Heel, 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 heel. Got it? Hopefully you do. The dog's right here, nose with my toes. There she is, okay? And I take a step, heel, pressure on. And if she's walking with you, good, pressure off, okay? So animals learn by pressure, okay? If I was training a horse and I wanted the horse to do something, okay? I would touch the horse when the horse wanted, when like, <clears throat> let, let, let me, I, I gotta, I wanna slow down on this. I might confuse some of you. Dogs are no different than horses. They're no different than, than other creations uh, as, as, as to this. When we want attention, we go by a visual attention, we go by a verbal attention, or we go by a physical attention. You say, what do you mean? What I mean by that is this, is that if I want a horse to do something, okay, I have to start in small small steps first, 
And then when they do it when I want, so like say I was wanting to get a horse to come to me or to do something in, in this direction, okay? So when that horse took a step in the right direction, I would touch the horse, okay? That's pressure and it's positive reinforcement. So when I do the same thing with her, it's pressure. So pressure, heel, that's the command. Pressure off when she's going the right direction. It's no different than when you when she does something good and you say yes. Okay, what you're doing is you're putting pressure, you're releasing the pressure, even though you say, well, I'm just saying yes, how's that pressure? It's actually pressure because you're training and you actually subconsciously not knowing your charisma is putting off energy and it's putting pressure on her, okay? It's, pressure training okay it's not ideal especially if you're stressed out it's a bad thing to do but you regardless you're still putting pressure on the dog when you're training it just it's 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 it's, it's you can't avoid it okay so here we go so heel pressure on she does it off heel pressure on so when i say heel i'm putting pressure on heel heel just like this say she was sitting here i say sit and she sits off okay I'll explain more to that later on, okay? Maybe I could do it right now, maybe, even if she sits here with me, if she works with me really good. It's kind of warm today, so she's kind of, I'm not gonna go very long with her, okay? So if I do pressure on, sit, she sat. Pressure off, sit, going up, off. So see that? That's pressure on, sit, going up, okay? Pressure on to come to me, come. So just a little pressure, come. Good girl, now look how the slack in the, in, in the leash, okay? Tom, there's just a little bit, she's used to doing this, okay? There was just a little bit of pressure. You're not hurting them. You're not yanking on it. These people that are having these prong collars and choke collars and gentle leaders and they're ripping these dogs around, good gravy. Cut it out and go get a different job. Go to McDonald's, Foot Burgers, because that's ridiculous, okay? There's no reason to hurt these dogs like that. It's, 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 if you're training an animal and you're doing that, go, Go get on the unemployment list. Actually, don't do that because I'm paying for that. So I don't want to be paying for your stupidity. So go go get a job somewhere else. Okay? It's, anyway. Here we go. All right. So that's how we get them in the heel position. And that is the heel position. And the pressure on, pressure off concepts. If you notice, she's tired. Poor thing. This is her second video already. She's wore out. And if you notice, I'm only using a nylon collar and a nylon leash, okay? That's a, a five foot lead. Um, actually, it might be five and a half. Um, it was a weird, weird, uh, anyway. Um, she's tired. And uh, I, I start with that at a young puppy's age like this is because if they do decide they all of a sudden, hey, give me a picture. Hey, hey. There you go, and a wink, I love that. Okay, if, if they decided to, to fight me or they wanna do a different thing, I've seen dogs do what's called like the, the, the quote unquote death roll, uh, where like if you ever see a gator do a death row where they just roll, um, dogs do that sometimes when they're trying to fight you and take control and, and there's other reasons as well. I do not like that if they start doing that stuff and they have a, if they have a nylon or a uh, prong collar on them. I, I just, I can't handle that. Um, I don't want the idea of them getting hurt. Okay, so that's why I start with a nylon collar. And again, it all depends on how I'm gonna train them too. Okay, so like a tree training, gentle leader, harness, you know, that's a little bit different concepts and so forth. If we're dealing with a pressure on, pressure off concepts, if we're dealing with a situation where we don't want the dog to pull, if we're dealing with a situation where we don't want the dog to, to um, well, pulling would be the biggest one. That's where the prong collar would come in. And I, that's why I do suggest prong collar training every dog at some point in their life so that they learn not to pull, okay? I go to, um, there's several walking areas that are within driving distance from me and I watch all the people train the dogs and not, they're not training, well they are, but they're basically exercising and walking the dogs down the paths. And I watch them, and like 80% of these dogs that are walking down the path are, there's two things, they're 10 feet behind them, 10 feet in front of them, or they're pulling. And uh, anyway, so you gotta have a dog in good order, but have a personality, okay? 
There's a good picture right there. Bam. Got it. Maybe. Oh, there she is. Okay. So I'm going to cut this one short. Probably put this on my little shorty videos here because it's so short. I might be able to sneak it in there. Maybe. Maybe not. But uh, she's she, it's warm today. She's wore out. And so we're going to go give her a break. And she needs some water. Um, and on that note, if you notice right here on her lips, see how it's getting kind of a dark you can see, uh, anyway, if you look at that, you can kind of see black pigment coming through there, okay? Let me see if she, hey, hey. Right on the top part of her lip, right there, it's getting, you can see black pigment, like the color of her nose, black, coming through the top yellow part of her lip, okay? Which is basically the pigment on the inside of her lip and under her hair, okay? If she's hot, if your dog is hot, if you've got a dog that you can see it, and if your dog is chocolate and black, you're not going to see it. But if it's yellow or white, or they got a lighter pigment on the face, you'll see that that lip line right here, right there, you'll start seeing that black come through. You know your dog's hot, okay? If your dog's panting with their tongue sticking out, they're, they want to sprawl out like she's doing, and she's sprawled out like that, she's putting her belly against the ground in the shade, they're hot. Are they overheated? No, but they're hot. Okay? So take some water with you. Keep some water with you. I got some water here. We're going to get some water with her. Take a picture right there. Okay? And it's kind of windy today. You notice how she's got these little water water lines coming down her her, her eyes. Okay? The wind. It's it's really windy today. Um, like, if you can see the... I don't know if my camera's going to point out, but the wind's just blowing these trees all over the place. And uh, so it hits her in her eyes. Okay? And, and I've had her... I've had her in the mule. I'll back this out so y'all can see this. I've had her in there. We went on some rides and the wind's hitting in the eye. So that's why her eyes are. Anyway. So um, if you have any questions uh, about training, you have a video idea. Like, hey, do this video for me. You know, I'm really having trouble um, training my dog to do this. Um, please, if you send me a message about a video, to, like an idea, like, or you're having trouble training your dog, Please include not just what you're wanting me to show you, but please include the type of dog you have. Because a retriever's mindset is different than a poodle's. Uh, a poodle's different than a German Shepherd. You know, I don't tell a, 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 a yellow lab or a Labrador retriever, I don't tell the, that dog, like, I'll say whoa for her, but I won't say whoa to a, a pointer or a German, a, um, German short hair. Okay, because those commands are two different things in their brains as far as not only in the training world but as how we use that word is different okay so please tell me what kind of dog you have so i can help you um, that way i understand the mentality mental mentality of that dog and way they think naturally so that i can help you train your dog okay but usually it's as simple as showing your dog what you want them to do and then giving the command and then praise them Okay, it's that simple, guys. It's super, super easy. The problem is it takes a lot of time and consistency. You have to be consistent, okay? And then the, you know, reading the dog's body language. Like, see here, she just got up a mood and went to where it's even darker and more shady. Ouch. You don't want to do that. That hurts your head. Okay, I don't want to run anything. No, 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 no. Uh, no, 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 no. We can't go underneath there. There's a motor underneath there and it's hot. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. So that's reading a dog's body language. That's huge. Okay. And, and the consistency, knowing when a dog is trying to challenge you, even a puppy like this can challenge you. See that right there? She has to challenge me. Okay. She's trying to say, Hey, I don't want to, I, I don't want to be right here. I want to go out. Oh, look, look, look. I want to go where I want to go. Okay, I'm going to throw a fit until I get to go where I want to go. I'm going to say, no, you're going to come right here to me. Okay? See that? Good girl right there. Good girl. Good girl. Okay? So, it's... You are the alpha in the relationship. And it has to be that way. That's why sometimes you have to have a professional trainer come on board and train. Okay? Anyways, I'll cut this video short. Uh, it's supposed to be shorter than this, but it didn't turn out that way. But anyway... We're going to cut it here, and uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, hit the notification bell. Like the video, share it. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Hey, hey, hey. That's a good girl. Come, come. Oh, that's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yes.
That's a good girl, Phoebe. Good girl. That's a good girl. You are so sweet.